Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of Asteroids and Loves. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. That should be Al on um, your teacher, right? Mm-hmm. Come here, buddy. <laughs> yeah, go lay down. say in today's episode they find an asteroid they name after Al what I would kind of want them to do is to do a flash forward when they're older and you know everyone's in their careers and everything and then they see each other again Solar sausage. <laughs> Are you hungry? Ha, ha, ha. 
Mm-hmm. You should be able to see everything. <laughs> And that's okay. Still nothing. Hmm. I think that's dope or something. Even though and that was the same as the top of the last thing, the way it plays. So it must be new. Hopefully, because if it is, we can finally name one after Owl. That's all we want. <laughs> so I 
I mean, it's going to happen from what, I mean, we're only 10 episodes, I mean, 10 episodes, 10 minutes in. If it doesn't happen between, like, the next few minutes, it's possibly going to happen by the end of this episode. Where it's going to be a flash forward, and they're going to be older and together. And they'll find it. Just let me find one. Just one. Let's not. <laughs> hmm. It would have been nice, though, you know? It's just a step up. Not everybody discovers something incredible their first time. Just do a flash forward. It would be so nice. Of course, God, do that jump. <laughs> I'm glad to. We are both interesting. I didn't turn my phone off. Hmm.
And then we couldn't even have the last episode without an appearance of her. I'm just saying. Do that one for everybody, though. Heck, if I was there up to them, y'all, everyone could have gone. It would have been nice, but only two could have gone, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, the last picture. A picture would be a really nice background. It's okay. will never forget the panty bread. <laughs> Only Suzu would make bread that look like panties. <laughs> the 
best girl he knows. He's so precious. Look at him! I might like, cry. Oh my god. That was the saddest moment. Oh my god. Especially for you know, because it was so cry. Oh my god. Oh. Best girl. Big time. <laughs> Almost so much. And Nana. Shakara and Sister is so cute. I'm crying. <laughs> My god, it's so cute. I can't. It still would have been better if it did like a flash forward. Like, if they would have ended it like that, then showed the credits, and then did like a flash forward when they were older, and they finally just like discovered an asteroid together and named it after Al. That would have been so precious, but I get the fact that, yeah, you don't always have time for everything. But final thoughts on this show this was out of most of the Moe shows that I have seen. Um, that's been made by the people who eventually put them in the Kid of Fantasy game. I think this honestly was one of my favorites, really, because it was cute, it was adorable, made me freaking cry, and I, I think it's up there with not only, like, Honey Amata and, um, Layback Camp and, uh, The Demon Girl Next Door, which is still one of my absolute faves, but it's also up there with another show that I'm really excited to watch that's gonna come out in a couple of months, I believe I'm not one of the her. But this was just really good. I loved learning about asteroids. Science isn't really one of my um, favorite part times, but it did make me interested in it and wanting to know a little bit more. It was never, it was like my second favorite subject in school, but still, it was a very interesting show. I liked it. I liked the girls, even the slight bit of Yuri at the times, because it wasn't there all the time. I mean, I'm glad that we ended this show with Suzu having an appearance, because it felt so weird going in episodes 10 and 11 and not really um, having her be there, and then to have the last episode for her to finally be there, and then, you know, everybody is, like, having a moment, even though Mira's sister should have been there as well, to just have almost every single character we've met from episode 1 up until now to be in the final episode and have, like, a final thought, but I get the fact that it's like, yeah, she was there, but just really just for a phone call, but it just would have been a little bit better and nicer to just bring her in the group for just one episode, and then Suzu would have had, like, an emotional breakdown because she's so in love with Mira's sister that it's not even funny, but honestly, this was just a really damn good series, and typically with the shows that are eventually made by the people who do the Kid of Fantasy, um, Mega Time and stuff, they usually, by the end of it, you learned a lot more about the subject of the manga and anime that they're focusing on, whether it's science, a little bit more about gaming, camping forever, however, any freaking anime, I mean, like, even Sakura Trick, that made me learn more about Yuri and stuff and why I, like, I literally mm, just, I can't, because that show, Sakura Trick was just so freaking adorable, and I was just like, oh my god, they're just so precious things. And just saying that love is love, and it's just like, mm. but this show, it was good. It really was. I'm really going to miss these girls, especially, like, my best girls, because we'll never forget first week, and Eno is dancing like she's freaking drunk, and that was a freaking <laughs> high-quality meme 
that maybe I would use myself at times. I've used it on Twitter a couple of times, but like, this is how I feel right now. <laughs> like, wait, honestly, I will miss all of these girls. And I don't think we'll really get another show that'll be like this. That's like the same thing that I kind of really said with Hey, a camp with, uh, I mean, I can't let back camp, honey, I'm a Sakura trick, new game. You kind of get shows that are, yes, moe cute, that cute girls doing cute things, cliche, but not ones that are mainly like take you in and just like you, you support it. You want to know everything. Cause there, there's a lot of different moe animes out here, but I think just the ones that, you know, the manga time, kid of time makes, those are usually the best. And, they give you like the best lessons to learn about the anime and everybody in general. But it was good. I'm sad that it's over. But at the same time, I'm happy that I was able to spend these 12 weeks reacting with you guys every single week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Choices series. Asteroid and Love. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys in the first week of April for officially spring anime but until then i will see you guys all next time bye